So we are discussing about the projections and the coordinate system. We'll see the projection, the example of different projections, the coordinate systems, and then the datums. So what are projections? Projections. See, the Earth is a spheroid. You cannot call it as a sphere, but it is a spheroid. So the best model of the Earth can be a globe. But what are the drawbacks? Can you carry it? No. Not good for making the planimetric measurement, for example, distance, area, and angle. Therefore, maps, we need maps. Maps are flat, they are easy to carry, and they are good for measurement. Also, scalable. Like this, they are handy. Like this, we can carry it, or in this format. So, a map projection is a method for mapping spatial patterns on a curved surface onto a flat surface. This is projection, map projection. On imagery, you can just have an imaginary light which is projected. See, if this is a light, this is projected because this is the curved surface. Now, this is our earth globe. So, a curved surface, a light imaginary, the projected light which are projected are projected onto a developable surface which can be like this. So, this is developed or this surface when it is developed. There are a variety of different projection models may exist. Cone can be a developable surface. A cone like this can be placed on the globe. This is the center meridian. These are standard parallels. These are the standard parallels. These are standard parallels where this cone is touching the earth again the central meridian. So when you open it, it is something like this. So this is a conical projection surface. What about the cylinder? Cylinder can be a developable surface. So you can have or you can place the cylinder in this way, which is a normal way, you can just turn it 90 degree like this transfers, you know, the normal to transfers, they are they differ by 90 degree. So transfers. And now you can just open it by projecting with uh, an imaginary light source or you can place it at certain angles. So this is oblique. These are tangent cylinders. And by tangent? Because they are touching at these tangents. See, so this, these are cylindrical projection surface. What about a plane as a developable surface? So you can have a, just a plane surface. These are planar projection surface. You can have a plane here. You can play obliquely. Okay. So this is a polar. This is equatorial. This is oblique. Now you want to open it. You can also have a genomic, stereographic, or orthographic projections. So map projection always introduce error and distortion. This is always there because you are trying to convert. Or present a curved surface into a plane so you will be subjected to certain errors and distortion as you can see here these are different different ways so map projection always introduce error and this can be error see these these are three views one is this one is this one is this of uh, us so the three map projections which are centered at say 39 north and uh, 96 west so these three projections may be Mercator may be Lambert conformal conic or any unprojected latitude longitude then the problem is they will be shifted so there will be an error or distortion always as you can see here we have Albert equal area Lambert uh, conformal conic projections the origin say at some point so you will always find the variation of see this is the variation this is how it is variating so map projection, as I said, again I will reiterate that it will introduce error and distortion. So distortion may be minimized in one or more of the following properties. If you say a projection is conformal, that means it is preserving the shape. Equidistance means it is preserving the distance. And true direction means it is preserving the direction. And equal area means it is pre preserving the area. So now distortion can may be minimized in one or more of the following properties: shape, distance, direction, and area. So exactly what are map projections? We have just said that these are just certain set of mathematical equations that convert the coordinates from one system to another. So if this is your input, say x, y, which is unprojected, say angles, unprojected angles, latitude, longitude, you know, the angles are latitude, in latitude and long, longitude, latitude and longitudes are actually angles only. So when they these are unprojected angles, when they are subjected to certain mathematical equations, the output will be the projected Cartesian coordinates. Means angles can be represented on a flat plane. How do projection work on a programmatic level? Means if you are a programmer 
on that level how does it work so each set of coordinates is transformed using a specific projection equation from one system to another so we have a specific projection equation angular measurements can be converted to the cartesian coordinates so one set of cartesian coordinates can be converted to a different measurement framework so if this is a projection zone and datum like geographic nat 27 or you say utm zone 10 nat 27 or any other say stat uh, state pain wan nat 83 then these are the x and y these are the x and y and now you can get the value these are the x and y value which you are getting in geographic the same value is represented in utm like this or in any other projection like this so how does arcgis because arcgis why we are talking arcgis and quantum gis quantum these are very popular uh, gis systems how does these uh, systems handle map projections in data frames so they project data frames to see or measure features under different projection parameters they apply a projection on a data frame or projects data on the fly means arcgis data frame projection equation can handle any input projection on the fly while going on so there is no back processing everything is done on the fly sometimes on the fly projection data do not properly overlap so applying a projection to a data frame is like just putting a pair of glasses nothing else so you see the map differently but the data have not changed so how does arcgis handle map projection for data the projecting data creates a new data set on the file system data can be projected so that the incompatibility projected data sets can be made to match and the arcgis projection engine can go in and out of a large number of different projections coordinate systems and data types this is a geographic projection we can have different uh, projections like albers this is a albers conic projection so the shape shape along the standard parallel is accurate the shape and minimally distorted in the region between the standard parallels and those regions just beyond so the 90 degree angles between the meridian and the parallels are preserved but because the scale along the lines lines of longitude these lines of longitude does not match the scale along lines of latitudes this one the final projection is not conformable so all areas are proportional to the same areas on the earth the direction in this case alberts locally true along the standard parallels the distance the distances are best in the middle latitudes these the latitudes along parallel scale is reduced because the standard parallels and increased beyond them so along meri meridians scale follows in opposite pattern this is the example this one this is the result then we have lambert azimuth or azimuthal equal area that is the planar world like this so the shape is true along the standard parallels these are standard parallels and of the normal aspect or the standard lines of the transverse and oblique aspects so distortion is severe near the pole of the normal aspect aspect or uh, 90 degree from the center line in the transverse and oblique aspects and the area there is no area distortion on any of the projection also the direction type the local angles are correct along standard parallels or standard lines the direction is distorted elsewhere distance scale is uh, true along the equator this is equator uh, or the standard lines of the transverse and oblique aspects scale distortion is severe near the poles of the normal aspect or 90 degree on the central line in the transverse and oblique aspects this is the result then we have a mercator that is the cylindrical one if you see uh, shape is conformal and small shapes are well represented because this projection maintains the local angular relationship always the area it, it is increasingly distorted toward the polar regions and direction any straight line drawn on this projection represent the actual compass bearing so these true directions lines are rumb lines and generally do not describe the shortest distance between the points and the scale is true along the equator or along the second lines this is the distance this is you know somewhat matching you can say then we have uh, miller cylindrical this is the result so shape minimally distorted say between 44th parallel increasing towards the pole land masses are stretched see they are stretched uh, more east to west than they are north to south the area the distortion increases from equator towards the poles in the direction the local angles are corrected only along the equator and the distance corrected uh, distance is measured along the equator this is the result then we have uh, molweed this is pseudo cylindrical this is the example so the shape is not distorted at the intersection of central meridian and the 40 degree and 40 40 degree north and south the distortion increases outward from these points and they become severe at the edges of the projection 
the area is equal area. The local angles are true only at the intersection of the central meridian and the latitude say 40 degree 44. North and south, the, this direction is they started elsewhere. But over the distance, the scale is true along latitudes 40 degree. Distortion increases the distance from these lines and becomes severe at the edge of the projection. This is the result. So, as we have seen the molvide, or molvide, the orthographic. This is your orthographic projection. So, this the shape is minimal distortion near the center. This one, aerial scale is zero at the edge of the hemisphere. And area, the aerial uh, scale decreases with distance from the center. Aerial scale is zero at the center of the edge of the hemisphere. What about the direction? The true direction from the central point. And distance, the radial scale decreases with distance from the center and becomes zero on the edges. So the scale perpendicular to the radii along the parallels of the polar aspect is accurate. This is the result. Then the Robinson pseudo cylindrical. In this, as you can see here, shape distortion is very low within 45 degree of the origin along the equator. The area distortion is very low within this 45 degree of the origin along the equator. Direction is generally distorted. What about the distance? The scale is made true along latitude 38 degree north south and scale is constant along any given latitude and for latitude of opposite side. Then we come to the coordinate system. So coordinates, features are spherical surface, they are not easy to measure on spherical surface. So features on the plane are easy to measure and calculate like distance, like angle and the area. So coordinate systems provide a measurement framework. Coordinates, these are latitude longitude system measured angle as spherical coordinates. See this is your angle, this is called the longitude, this is the latitude say 60 degree east of prime meridian, 55 degree north of equator. So latitude longitude values are not Cartesian coordinates. They are not Cartesian coordinates x y. They are angles. So constant angular deviations do not have constant distance deviations. So 1 degree of longitude at the equator does not mean 1 degree of longitude near the poles. So GI software uses planar measurements on Cartesian planes. This is the coordinate system. So coordinate systems, these are, you know, we can have example of different coordinate projection systems like state plane and UTM. This is the coordinate system of state plane, which is codified in 1930s. Use they use the numeric zones for shorthand and use one or more three different projections like Lambert conformal conic, transverse Mercator, and oblique Mercator. While the UTM, this is based on transverse Mercator projection, and you have 60 zones, 60 zones, six degree each, and we have four system, and uh, you know you also have set of set at uh, south pole or equator. So this is how it is a. Uh, known in UTM. So UTM, see, this is the Washington state which is in zone 10 and 11. Coordinate system, every place on the earth falls in particular zone. Now we come to datums. Datums, a system that allows us to place a coordinate system on the earth surface. So you have an initial point, a secondary point, a model of the earth and known geoidal separation at the initial point. So this is the local datum coordinate system. So this, these three shows first is this black one is the earth surface, the dotted one is the local datum and the blue is earth centered datum. So datums commonly used datums in um, America, they are NAT27, NAT83 and the most popular used everywhere is WGS84. So this is the projecting special data sets. This is used for going between projections. So data source data source may not be compatible. These are say UTM36, UTM34. So you see this Lake Victoria is not in Central Africa. You see the difference. So, projecting special data set used for going between projections. Both are now UTM 34. So, you can just bend it. Now, you can see the Lake Victoria is really in East Africa. So, this was a basic idea about the projections and data. Thank you so much. Take care.